Welcome to Yahoo Sports. I'm Michelle Jingris, joined now by Spencer Dinwiddie of the Brooklyn Nets. We are going to play a game we like to call Poppin' Off. Here's a little look at the leaderboard before I explain the rules. Uh, Aaron Gordon with the top spot. You think you can beat him? Uh, yeah, the only thing I'm surprised about is Joe Harris not being on this, but let, let's do it. We'll see if you can beat him, too. He did. He, he had a turn, so we'll, we'll let you know how he did after, okay? Perfect. You have 60 seconds to shoot as many buckets as you can Thank while you. answering my hard-hitting questions in rapid-fire style. Are you ready? Got you. Uh, your questions scare me more than the Papa shot. That is a common answer. Got yes. You. Okay. <laughs> this is popping off. Go! Most used app on your phone. Uh, Twitter. Go to deli order. Uh, bake, uh, turkey bacon and egg. Ah, Best trash on. talker you Great face. trash talker. Oh, that yeah, face. Draymond. Poster you had on above your bed as a kid. Oh, uh, Kobe. Best nickname you've ever been given. Uh, Spence. Favorite off day activity. Sleep. Coolest thing you've done off the court. Uh, gap cover scholarship for kids through my foundation. Game day superstitions. Uh, sleep as much as possible. <laughs> Best cheat meal. Uh, Juliana's pizza. Favorite part of New York to spend time in. Uh, shoot, Lower East Side. If you could have dinner with any person in the world, who would it be? Uh, shit. Oh, uh, Will Smith. Okay. I guess. Favorite ice cream flavor. Ah, come on. <laughs> come on. Sports movie you would oh. like to have starred in. Sports movie I'd like to have started. You uh, got this. Six men. Favorite arena to play in? Uh, Staples Center. First jersey you ever owned? Kobe. Best sneakers to rock? Uh, it's mine. Favorite yeah. sport other than basketball to play? Uh, football. Favorite country to visit? I should have done that. I, sh oh! I, I should have done that. Yo! I should have banked them hoes. The f All right, so you cracked the top five. Not mm. too shabby. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, not, not bad. bad at all. So some of the things that stood out to me, uh, the coolest thing you've done off the court, the scholarship. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about that. So um, basically, my my foundation uh, does this thing called gap coverage for uh, you know students that apply for our scholarship program. Um, what it means is not a quote unquote full scholarship. They apply for financial aid and, and FAFSA and things like that. Then whatever's not covered, my foundation covers. So they get to go and get a four year degree if they meet all the requirements, um, pretty much free of charge. Why was starting a foundation or using your platform the way that you have so important to you? Um, it's part of the legacy that my family left. Um, my grandmother and, and, and her father actually started a uh, scholarship program in our church. Um, you know, obviously before I was born, and then my mom also owns a preschool, so, you know, education and giving back are just kind of in, in the genes in a yeah, sense. Yeah, would you say that they were your inspiration for this? Oh, for sure. For yeah. sure, definitely. Okay, so you also said a movie that you'd want to star in is Sixth Man. Yeah. Why? I mean, we were rapid fire and playing basketball, yeah, and like, I was oh. just like, yeah, that was, I, that was the, I guess, probably my favorite basketball movie, so it just popped in my head. Favorite cheat day meal? Did you name a pizzeria in, in yeah, New York? Yeah, Giuliana's. Where is that? Giuliana's. Uh, it's right by the old Fulton and um, like the one hotel. Oh yeah. Like right around okay. the corner and stuff. So that's yeah. a good spot. Okay, yeah. we'll have to check that out because uh, we're we're based in New York as well. Let's do so it. that's good. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, you said Lower East Side, a place you like to hang out in New York. Why? Speaks to you eclectically, or is it your your scene? No, really. I was just like. You blacked out. Yeah, <laughs> you just had me going. I was, like, I was hoping. Ah. I was hoping for your Brooklyn fans that you would say Brooklyn, but it's all it just, good. Yeah, you got me. You got all right, me. thank you so much for stopping by to play popping off with you. We had a great time. For all things NBA, make sure you keep it locked right here on Yahoo Sports.